So it seems like 50 Cent, his son Marquise, is back at it. And this time, Takashi 69 is involved. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? You see your son yet? Da -da -da -da. Nah, I ain't heard from 6 9 We're connecting with people. He's his mother's child now. He told on everybody. They need to do whenever they need to do it online. Because it gives customers. He better than Marquise, though. I'll take him before I take my actual five. They can use wherever they are. Fuck that nigga. He said, oh. Um, Yo, <laughs> yo, boy. Stupid. Did he just say he a claim a rat? Oh no, I don't want no parts of that cheese y'all eating over here, big fella. I don't know what y'all got going on. I don't know what y'all got going on over there. That's that's some other shit. Stupid. BBN. Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah. So, apparently, 50 Cent and his son, Marquise, are arguing again. Okay, so, real quick, y'all just seen the clips that we played. Um, One of the clips, actually, the first one that you heard was 50 Cent going on about how he would take... Takashi 69 over his own son. Now there's a couple of things that I want to say about this. It's not going to be all over the place. I'm actually giving one concise message, but I do want you to understand this just real quick before we go any further. I was in court when the judge asked Takashi 69 about 50 cent. I was in court. Takashi 69 Stopped all questioning on 50 Cent dead in their tracks and basically let the let the freaking uh whoever the heck I think it was the the, the um the prosecution I was asking the questions at the moment just they just flipped on whatever they was talking about and they just was like you know what 50 cents off the 50 cent is not on the table and they just kept pushing it so just so we could be clear on something there is absolutely no argument with me. That as much as Mar Marquise is saying, oh, you take a rat over your own son. I wouldn't be so hard to believe that Marquise wouldn't have, you know, said or did a few things that would have been different than Takashi 69 in that situation. Okay, so real quick, this is something that a lot of people might not know. Takashi, um, pardon me, 50 Cent and his son Marquise, they've had a very, very rough public relationship. Um... There's a couple of things that I want to say real quick involving this that might have nothing to do with um, any fault of 50 cents or Marquises. And that's often when you have a parent, sometimes when you have a parent who is the custodial parent and the other parent is not the custodial parent, negative things can be said about the parent that's not there or done that could give that child a, a skewed perception of the father or the mother whoever the whoever the parent is that isn't there with that being said i was raised in a single family household and one thing i will always say to this day i have not ever heard my father say anything negative about my mother i was raised by my pops if, i'm just gonna leave it at that so i've never heard my father at any time say anything negative about my mother I just want to throw that out there. So even though my mo me and my mother, you know, I, I wasn't raised with her and we don't have that same bond that a parent will have that was raised with uh, a child, a child will have that was raised with their parent. I don't have any negative feelings towards my mother that come directly from my father. Now, with this being said, 50 Cent has the type of personality that I wouldn't be surprised if he was rubbing his baby moms the wrong way. <laughs> I was... 
I was thinking about that line right there, rubbing the baby moms. And I was like, well, you know, there's a good way to rub women. Anyway, point being is, Marquise is now very upset, it seems, why he's calling Takashi Six. Well, not very upset. He's laughing, but sometimes people could be upset when they're laughing. I want to say something real quick. Um, please, people, learn the difference between frustration and anger. Because I'm telling you right now. When I see somebody that's just frustrated and I see somebody else calling them angry people, that immediately makes me think very little of the individual that's calling the frustrated person angry. That makes me think that you don't have a clear understanding of, you don't have a clear emotional intelligence. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you should be able to see somebody and see that they're frustrated. Frustrated and angry are two different things. Frustrated is trying to do something a million times and the shit ain't working. And then now you're getting flustered. You understand what I'm saying? That's frustrated. Like, let's say, just for argument's sake, you were somebody like me and you do YouTube content creation right and let's say every single time you're trying to create some content you maybe have uh something's happening to prevent you from creating content you're not getting angry you're getting frustrated somebody coming up and then calling you angry over that that just shows that they don't have a clear emotional intelligence they can't even recognize anger if they saw it because any type of loud noise they might think is anger any type of over um uh, uh, gestures they might think is you know something uh, an emotion other than what it is so i think first just to be really clear i think we need to just build our emotional intelligence and there's in the funny thing about this is a lot of people that don't have a good emotional intelligence or a good understanding of emotion they're the quickest ones to call somebody angry happy sad mean or whatever the hell they're the quickest one to use some kind of emotional um um term term in order to to, to label somebody as something and they're usually using words that even though they're adults and they have you know they're not a child they're usually using terms that they don't even understand themselves so please just real quick this is this right here is a good example of um understanding emotional intelligence because when 50 cent son is laughing and joking talking about oh man he want to do something with a rat i'm gonna tell you right there i see pain i see pain and i see confusion and i do see a little bit of anger he's laughing though but i'm telling you what i see i see pain confusion and anger not anger like oh man i'm gonna go uh, flip a car over like i'm the incredible hulk but I see anger like this dude can't be serious. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I see that type of anger. So um, with that being said, let me know what y'all guys think about the whole situation involving 50 Cent and um, his son Marquise. Also, the, the, the odd thing about this, this particular whole thing that he's talking about. Um, I don't know why 50 Cent even needed to bring this up. I'm not even sure if that's an old audio or not, or if that's a new one. That might be an old one. And this might just be something that people are bringing up again. But um, like a lot of people might already know, 50 Cent and his son does not have a good relationship. And before we end this off, I do want to say something. It's always the parent's responsibility. I'm going to say that again. It's always the parent's responsibility it is not the child or it's not the son or the daughter's responsibility it is the parents responsibility to make sure that that them and their progeny have a relationship it's always the parents responsibility to reach out and create an atmosphere because at the end of the day you could say well that person's an adult they could do what they want to do but at the end of the day, if you raise that child, if you was around that child at all, and you do not have a relationship with that child, remember that child was two and three years old when you was a grown adult. Remember that child was five years old when you was a grown adult. Remember that child was 10 years old when you was a grown adult. I think a lot of problems out here, and this might be an issue that's happening in this particular situation. I don't know what to call you have a lot I, I don't think so though be, be perfectly honest with you i don't think it's in this particular situation but in a lot of situations what you have is you have parents that's competing with their children that's insane it is insane 
You want to know what I do when I'm doing any kind of game with my child? I'm okay with letting my child win. I'm not giving them the win. I'm not allowing them to win easily. I'm going to make them work for it. But I'm okay with allowing people to learn how to win. Some people, some parents, they're so hard on their child that their child never learned how to win. So I, we need, so please, everybody out there, love your kids. There should not be a competition. If, you're in, if, your, if your parent is in competition with you, your parent cannot love you. It is not possible. So I don't know if that's the situation with, with 50 Cent and his son. But I'm going to say this again. If your parent is in competition with you, it is not possible for them to love you. Because if they loved you, they would not be in competition with you. You're their progeny. You're their future. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?